Welcome to Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens. This is the former estate of Frank Augustus, or F.A. Cyberling, his wife Gertrude Cyberling, and their seven children, six of whom lived to adulthood. They called this place home from 1915 to 1955, for 40 years until the time of Frank's death. The estate was built between 1912 and 1915. F.A. and his brother, C.W. Cyberling, co-founded the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company in 1898, putting Akron on the map as the largest tire manufacturer in the world by 1916. Stan Hewitt Hall was built in the Tudor Revival style. Tudor Revival architecture got its inspiration from English manor homes, churches, and cathedrals built during the Tudor period, 15th and 16th centuries. Design elements include a mixture of building materials such as stone, stucco, brick and wood, elaborate chimneys, and an asymmetrical layout. Their architect, Charles Schneider, actually traveled with the Cyberlinks to England in 1912 for design inspiration and submitted 1,100 architectural drawings for the manor house. You may be wondering why was the house named Stan Hewitt Hall? After all, there's nobody in the family named Stan, nobody in the company named Stan, so why did they name it Stan Hewitt? Well, in Old English, Stan Hewitt loosely translates to stone hewn or stone quarry. There was an abandoned quarry on the north side of the property when the Cyberlings purchased the land. In fact, this was one of the reasons why their landscape architect, Warren Manning, chose this site for the home. He knew that the quarry would provide unique landscape features that no other property in the area could. And you may be wondering why Frank named his company the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company instead of the Cyberlink Tire and Rubber Company, and it was in honor of Charles Goodyear, who invented the vulcanization of rubber. Before this process, the rubber is soft and pliable. After the vulcanization treatment, it becomes strong and hard, and able to withstand heat and cold. Charles Goodyear passed away penniless when Frank was one year old. They were not acquaintances, they didn't know each other, but Frank knew that without Mr. Goodyear's invention, he would not have been able to make his fortune, and he named the company in honor of Mr. Goodyear. The house itself is 64,500 square feet, which is the equivalent of one football field. It has 18 bedrooms, five guest bedrooms, five family bedrooms, and eight domestic staff bedrooms. It has 23 fireplaces, three elevators, 23 bathrooms, 14 full baths, and nine half baths. And it did have modern utilities, indoor plumbing, gas, electric, telephone, and internal vacuum system. Over 95% of the interior furnishings are original to the Cyberling family and estate. It's as if a family locked the doors and walked out and left everything in there, making this the sixth largest historic house museum open to the public today. Over 20,000 objects in the collection, including textiles, furniture, photographs, and artwork.
couple years ago I was looking through a gardening book and it featured beautiful gardens from all around the world and I came upon a picture of this scene just a simple birch alley I noticed the location was actually in Ohio so ever since then I wanted to come and visit this place it's simple but it's stunning here's a grape alley leading down to the conservatory These are extensive, looks like cutting gardens. Look at all these zinnias. Stunning. These are amazing cutting gardens. Absolutely stunning. I mean, everything about this property has been absolutely stunning. Oh look, their sweet William is still blooming. Mine has long gone. So pretty. Look at that with the view of the house. This is probably the most beautiful garden, most beautiful property that I have been to so far. We're sitting in the Reflective Pool English Garden and this one is definitely my favorite. Surrounded by walls, fountain, a little pool. It's so peaceful. And all the old trees on the outskirts. It's like the perfect garden.
We are sitting in the Stan Hewitt Gardens. This is the Birch Alley behind me, world famous down this way. We just took a tour of the inside of the house. Everything is Tudor styled from the 1500s is what they were going for. The house was built in early 1900s between 1912 and 1915 but they liked the Tudor style so that's what they replicated in their house. It'd be so nice to just like look even right here just put a blanket with like sandwiches and a drink just sit and relax for a little bit. Definitely pack a picnic if you come here. It would be really cute. One of the more beautiful gardens that I have seen. I can't really think of one that's more pretty than this that I've seen yet. Can you? Especially that reflecting pool garden. The sunken reflective pool garden. That was stunning. And I love like these alleys of trees that they have. This birch one and then the plain plane tree one over there on the other side of the house. Definitely worth it to come here. One of the most beautiful gardens that you will see. And the house is really unique as well. It's all, you know, 1500 style. Not many like that, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, the house is not my style. It's really dark. Tudor style is really dark. Lots of dark woods, stone, dark fabrics, but I can still appreciate the style. We're just gonna sit around a little bit, relax. It's kind of cooling off. It's about probably 4.30 p.m. an apple alley I guess look at all these apples so cool Get it on the head. <laughs> look there's some all over the ground that's awesome though so many apples are these all apples too yeah All the chipmunks are eating them.
This is all the citruses. Beautiful greenhouses here as well. It's amazing. Look at this massive jade tree. It doesn't say how old it is, but the trunk is so thick. It's probably, I don't know, eight inches across. Who knows how old this is? It's absolutely amazing. Really nice kids play area around here. 